Royal Navy, Army and RAF have a £17 billion budget black hole with delays on most major projects, MPs told. Defence Secretary argues he's got a £24 billion defence settlement over the next four years. The Royal Navy, Army and Royal Air Force have got a combined budget black hole of £17 billion, MPs have been told. Shadow Defence Secretary John Healy said the MOD's budget shortfall has grown to £17 billion. He said, it's down to him, Ben Wallace, to deliver the Prime Minister's 10,000 jobs every year. Yet since he's been Defence Secretary, the black hole in the budget has grown to £17 billion. Only three of the MOD's 30 major military projects are on time and on budget and he has indeed agreed to a real funding cut in revenue spending over the next four years. What is he doing to fix what has been the long-run Achilles heel of the MOD which is delivery, delivery, delivery? Mr Wallace responded, the £17 billion that, he, refers to is the one that was identified by the now, National Audit Office, before the defence settlement. So what have I done? I've got a £24 billion defence settlement over the next four years. Now I'm sure, he, having previously worked in the Treasury, can do the maths. He will see therefore that is the first thing I have done, which is something I don't think anyone else has achieved since the Cold War, having had the highest settlements since the Cold War. He added, major projects is always the Achilles heel for the mod and it's very, very important that we keep an eye on it in full and drive through, making sure we deliver efficiencies. Last week, the mod launched a newer competition to build three long-awaited Royal Fleet Auxiliary, RFA, Fleet Solid Support, FSS, ships that will provide vital support to Royal Navy operations across the world. The ships will provide munitions, food, stores and provisions to support Portsmouth-based aircraft carriers HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince of Wales. Last year, the National Audit Office criticised the MOD for making slow progress developing the three new support ships, which are crucial to carrier strikes operation. It came after anger that companies from Italy, Spain, Japan and South Korea were all in the running for the pound 1.5 billion contract, and a campaign was launched to ensure the three ships would be built in the UK. Now the MOD has said the competition for the contract to build the ships will help revitalise British shipbuilding by requiring a significant proportion of the build and assembly work to be carried out in the UK.